Hi there, this is Becky Croxton, and welcome to Module 5, Part 2, Adding and Editing Content in Google Sites. In this tutorial, we're going to cover adding content, basic formatting, uploading images, and creating links. Okay, so now that we have the basic structure of our website, let's go ahead and add some content. To do that, you need to go up to the Edit Page icon, the one that looks like a little pencil, and click. And now we see we have um, up here at the top band, basic formatting options, uh, very much like Microsoft Word. Now, down here is where you're going to add your content. And I've uh, drafted some welcome content in Microsoft Word, so I'm going to go over to that program. I'm going to copy my message. And then I'm going to paste it right in the window. And I see here I have home and also welcome. And I really just wanted to say welcome at the top. So I'm going to move this up. I'm going to delete the word home and have welcome be my main header there. And now I always think it's nice to have an uh, image of yourself or a welcoming image on the home page. So let's go ahead and add a picture. So I'm going to go to Insert, Image. And let's say I didn't already have this image uploaded. To add a new image, we go to Upload Images. And here I'm in my image folder that's saved to my computer. And this is actually the picture I'd like to use, so I'm going to click on it, select Open. All right, so we're going to use this picture in the alt text. Um, that's just the text that will be shown if we highlight over the picture. It's always good to put an alternative text in there uh, to be American with Disabilities Act compliant. Now I see I have my picture here, and what I'd really like to do is get my content so it wraps around my picture. So I'm going to click on my photo, and down here you see a couple of options. This says wrap on, and this is wrap off. And right now, the wrap text is off, but I'd like the text to come up right next to the picture and around it, so I'm going to press wrap on. And that looks better. So once it's like I like it, I'm just going to deselect that. Okay, so things are looking pretty good. I see I have a couple of links that are not hyperlinked at this time. This one is my email address. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight it and press the link button. It looks like a chain link. And it looks like that's all good to go. And down here, the university um, homepage, I'd like to link that as well. So I press, I highlight it, I press link, and it automatically hyperlinks for me. Once I have things kind of like I want, I'm going to go ahead and press save. And it looks pretty good. However, I see that some of my text some of the format of my text changed, and I don't care for how that looks, so I'm going to go back in and fix that. So I'm going to go back up to the pencil icon and see what I can do to fix this text so that it matches. I see this currently defaulted to Georgia 10 point, and the text below is Verdana 12 point. I find this text, the Verdana, a little bit easier to look at, so I'm going to change everything to be consistent with that. So I go ahead and highlight the area that I'm not crazy about. I'm going to go up to the font selection, and I'm going to choose Verdana, and I'm going to choose 12 point. And that looks better, so now I'm going to press Save. 
going to check my, my links. This is my email link. And I see that it automatically brings up my, my email, which is excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then I'm also going to check the UNCG homepage. And I see that that link works. However, one thing I like to do when I'm creating web pages is make it so that if you press the link, it opens in a new window. So I'm going to go back and change that. So I go to the edit page icon. And I go back in and find my link. And I select change. And here what I'm going to select is open this link in a new window. That way when you press the link, it opens in a brand new window while still maintaining your location at your current page. And then I press save. And now let's press it and see what happens. Perfect. Now you see I have my home page and also the link to the other website. Okay, so now I'll let you know the basics of adding content, doing some basic formatting, adding images and adding links. I think we're ready to move on to the third tutorial, which is going to cover how to create and embed a calendar into your website.